everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see debit memo in SAP MM S4. So what is debit memo? It is vendor payable, payable to the vendor, payable to the vendor. Because vendor has sold the material for lesser price on incorrect invoice. It's produced the incorrect invoice and we have given a wrong, wrong amount to him. Wrong payable has been given. So now we are going to raise debit member, subsequent debit member, wherein we have to pay the money back to the vendor. And the process is the same. Purchase order, goods receipt, invoice, invoice verification in MIRO transaction code. Finally, I'm going to raise debit member, debit note or debit memo in MIRO to the vendor, wherein we have to pay them the money back. Let's go to the system. Let's go. I'll just show you the system. Let's go to ME21 for purchase order creation. ME21 for purchase order creation. Let's enter 41410 Ganpat supplier. And let me enter the material limestone. I'm going to get the limestone by limestone. The number is 600145. 145 is my material. Limestone. I'm going to buy it in kgs. Let me enter the plant GA level. It's my plant. Storage location. Let me enter the storage location GA level. My storage location. And let me save this. This is my purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. Go to MIGO slash and MIGO. Enter purchase order number here. Here, I'm going to enter the purchase order number here. Let's enter. Scroll down item OK and post. Let me do item OK and post. And post. Control S save or click on to this post button. OK. Now go, go to slash and MIR. Invoice certification. GB10 is my company code. Calculate tax. Enter date. Invoice date. Base date. Let me enter the purchase order number here. And this is my purchase order number. Select the invoice first. Let me enter the invoice first. So this is the amount 171770. 1770 is my amount. Go to baseline date and save it. Let me save this. So now I have just saved it. Now I'm going to select subsequent debit. Debit note. Let me enter date. Same calculate tax with the reference to purchase order. The reference to purchase order number. Enter the purchase order number here. So now the amount is eight fifty dollars. Press enter. Enter baseline date. Now go to basic data and let me enter the amount here. One double three double zero three. One. 003 is my amount and save it. So I've created debit note. Now let's go to slash and ME23N display purchase order and let me check it out. Purchase order history. See, this is the purchase order number 45000043. See, purchase order history. I have done goods reserve, WE, and I've done invoice certification. And finally, I created debit flow for the AUT. This is what is known as debit memo. How to do the debit memo, I have shown. Thank you.